the union representing your employees, at least what I have before me here today, um, has contributed about $12 million to Democrats over the last 20 years. Uh, last three cycles, 93% to Democrats, 96% to Democrats, again, 96% to Democrats. Um, and these contributions go where you'd expect. Senate Majority PAC, DCCC, and President Biden himself. It raises a question. When you have a, a group of employees or somebody representing employees that is so overwhelmingly slanted uh, to helping one party as opposed to the other party, is it possible that that overwhelming bias slips into some decisions that are being made by your employees? Uh, unions are not part of our FEMA um, control, and uh, employees have the option to choose to join them or not. Right. Um, I mean, the people who run the, the unions, though, uh, and who are presumably elected by your employees, want to push um, contributions overwhelmingly to, to one group. I assume they communicate with your employees. Is this something that possibly concerns you, or is this why we're perhaps here today and that a couple of your employees seem to uh, believe their responsibility was to use their government job to help one group of people rather than the other group of people. Could it perhaps create that mindset? Uh, Congressman, it is just unacceptable that any FEMA employee would tell any part of our organization to not support um, an individual that was impacted by a disaster because of a political yard sign. Right. I, I, I'm just going to say political yard. You, you see what I'm saying? But, you know, if it'd be one thing if it's 50-50. But when it's like 95% to one party, 96% to one party, does that create an environment perhaps of a dislike or even hatred uh, of the political party that they're not giving money to? Because of course this union, they, they presumably communicate with their employees, this is who you should be supporting, blah, 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 blah. I sometimes wonder if that atmosphere comes a little bit from these one-sided slanted unions. Again, employees have a choice of whether or not they want to join a union or not. Not all of our employees are part of that union. And regardless, it is unacceptable, mm -hmm. um, regardless if you are in a union or not, to discriminate yeah. against a disaster yeah. survivor because of a political sign in their yard. That's I, I, not who 